Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole. So in today's video, we are finally going to be decorating the entryway outside porch area for spring. And I am so excited to do this. As you guys probably have seen, I love decorating my little porch area for all of the seasons. So I'm super excited to get it going for springtime. If you wanna see everything that we get into, go ahead and keep watching. So our first project for this spring front porch makeover is going to be to repaint these benches. I have two of these benches that I made last year and I did record the process of how I made them. So if you're curious, I'll leave a link to that video down below, but let's go ahead and get into repainting these two benches. So our second project is going to be to make a really beautiful spring wreath for the front door. So I've always wanted to make a tulip wreath. I'm sure you guys have seen them because they're really popular. So these tulips came from Michael's. If you can still find them out right now, they are only $1.99. So that's a really good deal. As you can tell, they're really big bundles. So I got the white tulips. I got pink tulips and then pink and yellow tulips. And then I also got this grapevine wreath form. This is a 24 inch form. So I wanted a really big wreath on my front door and I'm really excited to use this really big form so for this form i only used 10 of the tulip bundles guys so that's like a really good deal for this wreath so i'm gonna use of course the tulips the wreath form we're gonna need some wire cutters and your hot glue gun so as you can see i just cut off each stem from the actual bundle that way we have a bunch of separate stems and we can kind of just place them all over the place and then i'm just gonna put some hot glue on the end of each stem and stick them in kind of randomly i do want it to be kind of like a color block look so i am gonna have all of, all of our pink ones together then all of our white then all of our pink and yellow ones together and that's kind of the pattern that i'm going to go and of course as i always say when i make wreaths i always make sure that i go either counterclockwise or clockwise but always stick to that pattern as you're going around the wreath So now that we've gotten our two projects done, we can go ahead and move to the front porch area. I already got this area cleaned up as you can tell. So this is what it looks like before. Now let's go ahead and get into potting our plants. So for the little area next to the door, I am going to be using some Ibris, some Saxifraga, and white geraniums. All right, y'all, so as you could tell, I already kind of practiced what I want my flowers inside of my pots to look like. I'm really excited about how they look, so let's go ahead and get to actually potting them in these pots. so cute. Ooh, I'm so in love with it.
All right, y'all, so now that we got this part done, or at least the planting done, let's go ahead and add two planters to the two columns right here. And then we can move on to the fun things like adding a wreath, some pillows, and some cute little garden ornaments. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Creating home. We out here planting some- We out here creating a home. Some flowers in a pot. So this is what it's looking like now that we have all of our beautiful flowers potted. So now we can go ahead and get into adding some extra spring touches. All right, so it's kind of breezy today. So hopefully y'all can hear me all right. If not, I'm gonna have to do a voiceover over this part, but I did want to share, I got some pillow covers off of Amazon that are perfect for spring. So let me go ahead and share them with you all. All right, so this was a four pack off of Amazon. I'll link it down below if y'all are interested. So this is the first one that came in the pack. Easter wishes and bunny kisses, super, super cute. Up next, we have this really cute one, Bunny Snacks, locally grown, farm fresh, super adorable. Then we have this really beautiful one that says Happy Easter with a beautiful little bunny on there. And last but not least, we have this one that says Cottontail Farms, open daily, bunnies, what does it say? Bunnies, carrots, and chocolate. Super, super cute. So yes, I'm only gonna use two of these pillow covers. So the other two I'll save for either inside or I'll just save them for next year so that we can kind of switch it up. So let's go ahead and add some pillows to these and get our little doorway area here all set up. I totally forgot to mention, I wanted to show you guys the doormat that I'm gonna be using. It's just gonna be a doormat, a simple doormat like this one right here, this came from Home Depot. I'm just gonna use something simple for right now because I didn't really find any that I really, really liked or went with our kind of color scheme. So this looks perfect for right now. So yes, we're gonna add this as well. Right, y'all and here is the finished look isn't it so beautiful i absolutely love how it came out i feel like it looks so cheery and happy with all of the spring colors and i am so in love with it
right, y'all, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I had so much fun sharing with you all how I decorated my little front porch area. It was so much fun to do, and I really love how it turned out. I love all of the spring colors, and it feels very welcoming. So I hope that you all enjoyed. I gotta get out of here because as you can see with my crazy hair, this wind is just a lot. So I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye, y'all.